to Joe Weinbach's about the imminence of uh, coming on something from Robert Mueller. I sense everybody's right. There's a frenzy, almost like a Tesla hot tin roof. There's something that's scaring this guy. The heat's on. I'm going to ask you about the front in the, in the pantheon of American here. Your dad's up there, right at the, the top. Top 10 presidents, probably by a lot of calculations. Top 12, maybe. But this guy, McCain, is up there, too, in another way as a senator. And I wonder whether Trump realizes he will never ascend that now. That his, his goal has always been division, rotten talk about people. He may even get him reelected. God knows anything can happen. He got elected once. But it's never going to make him a hero of the American people in history. Is that the real bug in the mirror? Well, I, listen, I'm, I'm not a psychologist or, or a psychiatrist here. I don't want to play one on TV. You're pretty but good. It's been, You're pretty good at it. It's been said that, that, that Trump is a narcissist, and, and it certainly seems that way to me. But remember that at the core of narcissism is a crippling insecurity. This, this man who wants to boast that he knows more about anything than anybody is actually quite sure deep inside that he's a pretty worthless guy. And, and that's what you see coming out here, that this, you know, that, that this reacting to any, any slight or insult, whether from a late night comedy show or another politician, it, it's born of insecurity, not, not strength. He would like, to, to, like you to believe that he's a tough guy, but he's anything but. He's, he's a bully and he's a coward. I mean, you could write a movie about a, a ghost roaming the White House upstairs and down. The state floor, all the different rooms, and working its way upstairs. This goes to John McCain. and spooking the hell out of a president. I mean, he is spooked by this guy. Anyway, Trump has been fixated on McCain way back since the summer of 2015. Let's watch him back then. He's a war hero. War hero. He's a war hero. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. Okay. Well, you're not going to get captured if you got a bone spur and some doctor <laughs> cooked it up for you. You're not likely to be captured in Queens. The Viet Cong are not coming over to Queens, Mr. President. Let me ask you, Joe, about this guy. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, has he got a reason to worry about just a little update on the court I, on Robert Mueller? I get the feeling he's a cat in the hunt. You know, he's just jumping around. You know, he's jittery. He's attacking everybody over the weekend. He won't take a day off. Exactly what Mueller knows, but he knows what he's done wrong. So he has to be worried about. He knows his lifetime history, wrongdoing in New York. He knows how many people he's cheated. He knows how much he's cheated on his taxes. We don't know it. Right. Hopefully, we will soon. But in the meantime, he has plenty to worry about. People in New York talking.